how to use bundler product bundles app on shopify hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step and walk you step by step on how to use it from installation until how you actually fully set it up so uh basically if you don't know what that uh, app does it's pretty much going to create bundles for you and if you don't know what that is it's pretty much you know you're going to have your products here so if you just go to products we're going to see you know multiple different products and so on i need to add more for for this app actually so i'm just going to do so in a second but anyways uh you could do something like buy for example purple and you will get red for free and you can bundle these two up together or any number of different um products that you have so that they're going to be included in one package you could say uh this is going to and entice people to actually buy because they get you know the idea that they will buy one they will get one for free or they will buy two and they will get one for free uh and you're just going to you know make discounts accordingly with these bundles and people are going to obviously uh would love to buy anything with discounts right so this is going to be the idea of this video now before we get to it i will need to actually go ahead and add a few more products here just sample products so we can continue so i'm just going to do that real quick and show you what you need to do next okay so now that i have enough um product samples we can actually go ahead and get started so to get started you just basically want to log in into your shopify admin and once you're actually in your shopify admin you just need to go ahead and go to apps click on add apps or if you don't see that just click on apps all recommended apps shopify app store and you basically just want to access the shopify app store once you're in here you just want to go in and search for it so just search bundler product bundles as you can see on the screen right now so if you just go in and click on that or search search it up you should be able to see it right away which is going to be in blue with two boxes here so bundler product bundles so just go and click on that and this is going to open up the page here for us and you can read more about it so create and upsell bundles to discounts and quantity breaks in your shop uh, create classic bundles uh, mix and match bundles quantity breaks uh, you know you, you get the idea so there's you can feel free to read more about it and see what it has to actually offer you and then lastly before we actually install we can actually see the different plans that they offer so we have the free forever plan uh, which is going to be free to install obviously you have um, unlimited bundles buy x get y volume discounts and you can read more about it and then you can also feel free to compare it between the premium plan that they offer and also the ex ex executive plan sorry that they also have to, to offer so just go in and see which one is going to suit you best and your business and just go for it but i highly recommend that you start for free and see whether that's going to be uh, enough for you or not once you're done here we can just click on install to well install it to our store and in here we're just going to take one more step which is going to be verifying the installation or finalizing it by clicking on install one more time here at the bottom right and then we can just start up the uh, setup process but here you can just feel free to exit out of these different pages and in here we are just going to start by selecting the plan that we want to go for so you can go for the premium one uh, if you want to by adding or starting a free trial or even the executive uh, plan if you want by just clicking on start free trial but i'm just going to go for the free one and again you can feel free to compare in here uh in depth but i'm just going to click on select here and we can just start the setup now here's the thing before we start and click here and create a bundle like they tell us to do uh, what i highly suggest that you do first is actually go to online store and open up themes section and go and click on customize to the theme that you're currently running which is in my case dawn theme uh, and click on customize and once this opens up you just want to go to the left panel here and you will find uh, app embeds so within app embeds you're pretty much going to find all the different apps that you have installed and if they have any embeds in here that you need to enable so just go and click on app embeds and you should be able to find one for bundler script uh, or for the bundler app so if you don't see it and you have you know crowded area here you can just feel free to search for it so just search bundler and you'll be able to see it just make sure you turn this on 
And once this is turned on, you can just click on save from the top right. And once you actually save, you can feel free to exit out of here. And now we can actually go ahead and start by creating our first bundle. So uh, go ahead and access apps, click on apps and open up the bundler app, which is going to take us to this homepage. Uh, welcome to bundler and to start using the app, simply click the button below and create your first bundle. So click here and create a bundle is the way to go. Click on that. And in here, you'll have the different types of bundles that you can actually go ahead and go for. Now, remember you, if you chose the free version, you're going to have uh, a few of them that are actually locked and you will need to upgrade to use them. For example, the mix and match bundles and so on. But you also have access to the classic bundle or the volume discount bundles if you want. So we can just go ahead and click for uh, or click on the classic bundle and start with this one. Click on that to start. And in here, we need to set things up accordingly. So giving it a name, title and adding the information needed to create the bundle. So to get started, you actually want to give it a name. So we can just do test bundle right now. And then we just want to go ahead and give it a title, which is going to be also displayed, but uh, on top of the widget. So uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is, which is gets a discount. The description here, here should uh, pretty much, you know, shortly state what they will be getting. So, uh, you know, three products in the price of one, you get the idea. So just go ahead and give them a little description. So right now it says buy these products together and get a discount. Again, I'm just going to leave it as it is because... I'm not so creative to be honest. And then we can just go for total price template. This is going to be more like the call to action button, uh, which is not really a call to action, but it's going to be right on top of it kind of. Uh, and it's actually going to tell them, you know, uh, right now the default template is total and they're going to showcase the original price. And then they're also going to showcase the discounted price. So it's just going to let people know, you see, this is the original price and this is how much it is now if you want to go for the bundle. And then we can actually go in and adjust the real call to action button text. So you can feel free to click on add to cards or make it add to cards, sorry, or really add any text uh, that you want. Next is going to be the text under the call to action button. So right now it's discounts will be, will be applied at checkout. Uh, if you want to change that, you can feel free to do so. And then we have the priority sequence, which is going to pretty much just um, let this bundler app know that this is going to be a higher priority to showcase for others as a suggestion or a lower priority. So uh, I believe the lower the number, the um, more is going to be shown, basically the high priority it is. So just go ahead and add the proper number for this bundle, it really depends on what you want it to be. Now the bundle status is going to be active by default. If you want it to be paused and, you know, work your way around it first, you can feel free to do so, but I'm just going to leave it as active. And then we can also show bundle widget for this bundle or hide if you want to, or hide everywhere or hide only on product pages. I'm going to leave it as show. And then we have a few things here that are locked behind the, you know, premium plan here. So we can't really access that unless you have the premium plan. And this is actually going to show us the colors for the bundle widgets. So if you want to adjust that, it's going to be down here from the settings option from bundler. So open up bundler and just go to settings, but just wait, don't do it right now. Let's just finish up the bundle and then you can just feel free to do that if you want to. But now we can apply the actual discounts to our products or bundle, I should say. So we can just keep it as percentage discount and just give it an overall percentage discount, which is, you know, by default 10%, but you can feel free to do so. Uh, we can either, either just make it fixed amount discount instead. So, you know, with currency, so it's, for example, $50 off or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, and then we can also do set discounts on products within the bundle. So, for example, one product of, you know, a bunch is going to have a discount or fixed bundle price, which is going to, you know, state how much it's actually going to be or without a discount. So if you just want to add bundles without discounts, but usually you're just going to go for the uh, percentage discount and I'm just going to go for 15% off. And then if you just scroll down past the uh, locked things, we can actually go ahead and start adding our products by clicking on select products. 
and then here you will be able to select multiple different products i'm just going to go for three here and click on add and now we should be able to see the different products that we just added now i uh, it really depends on you but i'm just going to check this as well which is going to be automatically adding new product variants so for example we have this product here orange uh, let's say at some point i added more variants to it so in that case it's actually going to be automatically added uh, to the bundle but if you don't want that and you want it to be specific variants from specific um, products then in that case you just want to turn this off uh, and in here if you just click on options you will have more options about it but i'm not going to talk about that and then we have discount conditions here so buy all products in the bundle which is going to be the classic bundle. so as long as you're buying all the products in the bundle you'll be able to get the discount and then here we also have another option which is going to be buy required non-discounted products which i'm not going to turn on i'm just going to prefer the to keep it as the first one here uh, and you also have more locked things here that you can you know change but if you have the premium now once you're done with all of this you can just go ahead and click on save bundle from the top right and you're pretty much good to go you just make sure uh, that you turned on the widget from the online store so uh if you just go to product page we don't see okay there you go we can actually see that so when you, when somebody opens up a product page uh, they will be able to see the uh, products here and they will be able to see the bundle with the discount but this is not all if you want to adjust it further now that it is actually saved here um, okay so it's saved we can actually go to settings here and adjust more things to it so when it comes to design wise as you can see colors uh, volume discounts and more things you can also feel free to do so from the settings tab and then finally we have also analytics here so yeah this is pretty much a very simple tutorial on how to use bundler so hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching